Is the unanimous consent from the Honourable Member for Saanich Gulf Islands to add her comments? The Honourable Member. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci à tous mes collègues pour ce privilège de joindre dans cette période de, de, de discours au sujet de les, les anciens combattants. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes vraiment conscients de leur sacrifice. We are aware now of all those lives. We think of the lives lost. And I want to reflect, not in generalities, but on what I regard as one of the singular privileges of being a member of Parliament is how I've come to know so many veterans within my own riding. Men like Commander Peter Chance, who commanded 13 different vessels over his long and distinguished naval career, a member of the Royal Canadian Navy from a very young age, he volunteered, and he still serves his community. He's on every volunteer board you can imagine. Or Major Chick Goodman, one of my dear friends, and I will add that I hope the Minister of Finance will at long last get rid of something called the Gold Digger Clause so that the spousal benefits to veterans like Chick can go to his wife. I want to mention that because Chick would want me to. Uh, Major Chick Goodman was one of the Canadians who liberated the prisoner of war camps, the prisoner, no, they weren't prisoner of war camps, the, the horrible Nazi death camps in the Netherlands. And Chick Goodman was one of those who was a liberator. Or one of the men in my riding who joined before he was of age, needed a note from his mother to go overseas and fought at Dieppe, Ken Curry. <clears throat> Spectacular stories, but the tears come to their eyes very quickly. When they think of the young men, they were all young, who were on those battlefields and the ones who didn't come home. They remember them as if it was yesterday. They remember their experiences in war as if it was yesterday. Just outside my riding in Nanaimo, I want to mention Trevor Green. Everyone in this place will know his story. My friend from Nanaimo, Ladysmith, is nodding because he lives in her riding. Trevor Green was the young Canadian soldier in Afghanistan who, in showing respect to the elders with whom he was meeting, in a hut in Afghanistan, took off his helmet and was attacked from the back with a man with an axe. He's the most heroic, I mean, her heroism runs through the veins of the veterans of whom we're speaking today. But Trevor Green is still every day getting up and trying to get out of his wheelchair. And of everything that he might be committed to, Trevor Green is committed to climate action. But he is one of the most spectacular, brave human beings and his wife and his kids every day, taking every step in courage to be able to fully walk and participate again. Every single one of the people I mentioned wasn't drafted. Every single one of the people I've mentioned stepped up to serve. And our recent military, in the First World War, the Second World War, our survivors are dwindling. But from Afghanistan and Syria and ongoing conflicts and increasing peacekeeping missions, we know there will continue to be veterans who come home shattered and need our help. And in that, I want to space pay special tribute to the people from whom we buy these poppies. It's important that they fall off and we have to buy them again, because the work of the Canadian Legion is so important, and they provide help for, vi for veterans who have PTSD. We need more service dogs trained up for veterans with PTSD. We need more services. But all of us together in this place today, without a trace of partisanship, know that we owe our lives and our democracy to the sacrifices of millions of Canadians who went before us, those who came home and those who never came home, lest we forget. <laughs>